spoken into existence. That's it. He created nothing and made something. He said, I created you to be like me in the likeness and image. He created them, male and female. Mm -hmm. See, if you're going to handle the pressure, you got to keep your eyes focused on him. See, as long as Peter kept his eyes on the Lord, he was able to walk on the water. Mm -hmm. But the moment he looked on the water, he began to sink. Mm -hmm. See, the problem, some of us can't handle the pressure because we're looking at what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. That's it. Instead of keeping your eyes on him. What am I saying? That when you going through, don't focus on what your children ain't doing. But you focus on what his word say. As me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. See, you got to speak the word. Because see, when you look at what they doing, your word is creating where it's nothing. Your word is creating what you're speaking. Amen. The more that you speak it, the more that that thing comes into existence. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, this ain't nothing you just speak there one time. Amen. This is something where when you get good at something, you just like when you first started your job, it seemed it hard at first, didn't it? Amen. But the more you start doing it now, you can do it blindfold. Yep. Same way with this. The more you speak his word on that situation, when it don't look like it and you keep focused, you're going to see God will make nothing into something, into that thing that what you need it to be. That's it. Because the Bible says he cannot lie. Amen. He said every promise is always yes and amen. But it's only for those that believe it. You can't believe for me and I can't right. believe for right. you. Because I don't know what you need. You know what you need. Right. It, it, it goes back to how bad do you really want it. Amen. Because if you really want God to work it out in your house, you're going to spend time in prayer. You're going to spend time in worship. Speaking his word saying, I don't care what it looks like, but I know what God says. Anybody telling you anything else different? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude, but I don't want to hear that. Because I know what God has said. And then God said, you can't be telling these folks that don't believe. You know they don't believe. They, you know your faith. They faith ain't what your faith that. Don't you tell them what you believe in God for. That's it. He said, because see, now you in the midst of a battle. You ain't got time to be mumming and complaining. He said we're spending too much time mumming and complaining about what other people ain't doing. They ain't doing this, they ain't doing that. He said, but what is you doing? He said, because if you get your mind stayed on him, you're going to see I'm going to bring you through this. He said, you ain't got to find nobody to agree with you. Agree with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He said, because see, when you and two of you ain't got together in his name, he said, I'll be in the midst. I don't need nobody to agree. He said, as long as you agree with me, that's your do. That's it. I can't find nobody to agree with me. Can't find nobody to believe with me. He said, we want to walk in this faith. He said, but you're going to be able to have to handle the pressure. He said, some of you say that you want to be anointed. He said, and I'm trying to anoint you, but you can't handle the pressure. That's it. He said, you want to walk in, I want to do what she do. I want to do what he do. He said, but you can't even work what you walk in. Amen. That's why he said you got to believe in this thing here. Because yes. see here, when you look at it, it says here, verse 18, it said even when there were no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping and believing that he will become the father of many nations. See, I want you to jump down to verse 21. It says he was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promises. So you got to be fully persuaded. You got to understand that and in spite of what it looks like, I'm going to hope against hope. Jump to verse, jump to Romans 5. Look at verse 2. It says, through whom we have gained access by faith. So in other words, you gain access when you start believing in God. In other words, there's a supernatural door opens up. So if you begin to speak his word over that situation, he opens up a door of faith for you. Amen. Come on here. Amen. And he's looking for some people that will walk through that door of faith. Yeah. It says here, through whom he have gained access by faith. Into grace in which we now stand. 
He said, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings. Come on here. Amen. He said, even though you're going through, he said, I'm giving you glory. Come Amen. on here. He said, even though, he said, I'm giving you glory that while you're going through, he said, if you begin to encourage another sister about what you're going through, he said, you're going to see that what you tell her going to help her while I'm helping you. He said, if you begin to help somebody else while they're going through with their children and their marriages, you begin to open up your mouth and minister to them. He said, I'm going to give glory to you. I'm going to put my glory on you. In other words, you will be able to minister to somebody while you going through. So he said, that devil's a lie. How can I minister to somebody when Amen. I'm going through? See, that's a lie from the pits of hell. Amen. Amen. How can I minister to them and I ain't never experienced what they experienced? Amen. That's a lie. You don't know why it's a lie? Because I got the greater one yes. on the inside of me. He conquered everything. Yes, he did. So in other words, I can speak the words of life into somebody else. As long as they open up their heart to believe it, yes, that it word is. will help them yes, and they is. receive it. And you got to understand that I can minister to you while I'm going through in my marriage. I can minister to you while my children are acting up. I can minister to you while my finances is being up under attack. Because I understand I ain't moved by what it looked like. Because I understand he said the things that you see are temporary. But the things are unseen are eternal. Because I understand when I begin to speak his word when I don't look like it. I open up that spiritual door and he reach it up into heaven. And as I speak it, I'm pulling that thing down. What I need him to do while I'm going through. That's it. I want to show you something. He said even here. He said even in our sufferings because listen to what your suffering 